I was recently in a discussion with a gentleman named Glean. I'm sure you have all heard of him before. He claims, he's not a flat earther, but, he argues for flat earth every chance he gets. He calls himself a Mac earther, whatever that means. Anyway, during this discussion, which took place during Jose J.G. Gonzalez's stream, he shares this graph that he created, which apparently, explains how latitude lines would work on a flat earth. Now according to Mr. Glean, this graph is supposed to match the globe model in every way. The problem with this model is that his distance to Polaris is 3,958 miles. Now, Glean, I just have one question, well, several questions actually. Where did you come up with this distance? And where exactly does this match the globe model? I'm sure you're aware that stellar parallax is used to calculate the distance to stars, right? And what's even more crazy, this distance that you started with means that I am closer to Polaris than I am to New York. Also when I used your distance to Polaris, combined with the latitude lines on a globe, they absolutely did not match. I'm sorry Glean, but your calculations for the distance to Polaris and latitude angles are wildly inaccurate. As you can see in this rough diagram, which is drawn to scale, using your calculated distance to Polaris makes it impossible for any of these latitude lines to be accurate. On a flat Earth, the equator would have to have a value of 32 degrees. An observer would have to be an infinite distance away for Polaris to even come close to being on the horizon. The farther away an observer moves from the North Pole, the more inaccurate the angles become. This flaw in your model is so blatantly obvious, I don't understand why you are still trying to push this as fact. And I would love to see you try and explain how this model is an accurate representation of our reality.